Hey guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, we are here for painting number 10 on our 30 paintings in 30 days project. And if you're finding this talking part of the video uh, unlisted on YouTube, uh, it is unlisted on YouTube. And if you're finding it and you're not in Patreon, not sure how you did that, but welcome. Leave some questions, comments, or concerns you might have in the description, uh, in the comments below. And um, if you would like to join Patreon, it is in the video description. All right. So these are just little studying paintings. We're doing, trying to do 30 paintings in 30 days. And I don't know how far we'll get, but we'll see. I am, I've got my homemade sort of inspiration palette book here, one of a few of them that I have, open to a page I currently find interesting. I'm using it for inspiration for color and composition, not necessarily looking to paint anything one realistic or two exactly like one of the photos shown, although I have taken most of the photos myself in this book. Um, okay, we're going to start with a one inch, blah, 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 blah a half inch flat this is a Princeton Neptune uh, half inch flat. Princeton Neptune is my favorite brush. I'm going to grab some sepia. I'm not gonna clean my palette this time. I'm going to just mix the sepia with, I've got some green here on the palette. And I'm just gonna mix it around, see what comes up. Add some water. And Have a nice swatch. I'm gonna wipe my brush off so it's just damp. And that will allow me to lift up some of the color, put some texture in there, but it won't remove it completely. I'm gonna do that again. These are little study paintings. So they could be studies in composition where you're just trying to figure out composition of a bigger piece or maybe a commission painting. I do, uh, sometimes I whole notebook of little studies, drawing and painting studies uh, for clients when I'm doing client work. Um, sometimes they're just practice for getting back into the um, habit of working with a particular medium or you know, I wanna try a new technique and this is great for all of those. So I am just using, I got paint where I didn't want it, oops. That happens sometimes. And this color is probably going to stain, so let's see. I don't think it's going to come up. Usually watercolor stains. i got to find a dry spot. My rag is really wet. Yeah, that's okay. Again, these are little studies, so it's all right. I'm going to go back in. Again, I'm just using what's on my palette, sort of inspired by the colors I see in the inspiration photos, which were... For the most part, I believe, taken at the Air and Space Museum here in Oregon, where I live, um, and or at the beach, back when we could still do those things. So there are pictures of rusty metal and unusual bits. So we're just going to use them as inspiration to create something abstract but interesting. I actually kind of like where this is going. I'm surprised, but it's good. Okay, I'm gonna give that a dry. And okay, I'm we're gonna take <clears throat> a round brush before we, we get the painting any darker. <clears throat> We're going to take our ultramarine turquoise here and I'm going to just mix it with what's on the palette. I'm not even sure. Can you see that? Let's see. There we go. And I'm going to clean the brush off in my disgustingly filthy water <laughs> and I'm going to add just a little bit of buff titanium to that and It'll lighten it up. It'll also make it a bit more opaque. Okay. 
there's all these bits of like rusty tarnished metal in these pictures. In fact, one of the pictures is actually the bottom of uh, a rocket. It might be the Russian one that they had at the museum that had all these sort of turquoise colored metal bits on it, which I found interesting. Okay, while those are still wet, we're gonna go in with the turquoise and just the tip of the brush here, just straight out of the pan. And again, as before, as stated before in other of these little study tutorials, I'm barely touching the paintbrush to the paper. I one of the things I love about watercolor is the fact that it really has a mind of its own and you're really working with the unexpected for the most part that lots of the colors, especially the way I use them, are fairly transparent. So you can always see the marks and things underneath them. I love that. I love all, the, all of that about watercolor. I also love how portable it is. Okay, so we are gonna dry that. We're going to stick with our round brush and I'm going to pull out some neutral tint. I'm going to, again, I'm just mixing it, uh, mixing it with whatever's on here, which will lighten it up a bit and make it a little bit more on the reddish and turquoise side, which is fine. I'm gonna add some dark bits between my dots in the white space. I'm not gonna worry too much about covering up all the white space. Again, we're being suggestive, right? I am, again, as said before, barely touching my brush to the paper. So some, in my opinion, about being successful with paint is learning how to control your brush. You will notice I hold it fairly far down too. I I'm not one that can generally um, hold it way back at the end like this. I, I really sort of hold it more like a pencil. In my opinion, there's no wrong way. There's just, you know, whatever way works for you. I like that. All right, let's give it another dry. Okay, does it look like anything in particular? No, but there's just something about it I like, and I, I would do these colors again. I do think I'm gonna go in with my um, whiteout pen and just add a little highlight. Just something like that. And yeah, there we go. You could, if you wanted, if those weren't, um, too dry, although they are white out pen, they probably dry pretty quickly, so you could go back in with your damp little scrubby brush, but there you go. So let's take the tape off. I did get a little brown there, but that's good. But that's cute pit little painting. So 30 paintings in 30 pa days, there's number 10. I'll be back. Sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye guys.